guys welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the rarest cars within the game or within forza horizon 5 we're actually be taking a look at a top three list today so it is gonna be a shorter video and the auction host still isn't up which you know technically means that every single car that you can't buy through the car pass is the rarest in the game but i'm not gonna be lame we actually do have a top three countdown but before we get to that i do have some honorable mentions to save the comments that always happen if i don't cover these two cars and the two cars that i am gonna be talking about today are both dlc cars or exclusive to purchasing things outside of forza which obviously is going to make them more rare because unless you're willing to spend that money or you get a code online like you spend real physical money you can't acquire these cars the first one is the 4 gt opi edition i don't actually have it but it's just the exact same as the 2017 4 gt with this paint job here so you could technically go ahead and get yourself that car if you just did what i have and the second one i do actually have but i wish i didn't because i got scammed trying to get it once and i don't i haven't used it since i got it but it's the ford five window deluxe forza edition again this car is kind of garbage for what i do i like to do a lot of racing and drifting this is good for off-roading um people have replied in my videos and said that this is a good car for those purposes i've just never seen that so personally i think it was a waste of 70 dollars but these were the two runner-ups so you don't have to comment oh you missed the two rarest cars in the game because i'm just not going to include them in the list because technically they would be the rarest but before we get into the list we do have a word from today's sponsor of the video if you guys are looking for a safe secure modded account go ahead and check out mitchcactus.com and if you do decide to purchase anything make sure you're using code ryzen for five percent off all your purchases they do offer anywhere from coin packages to your existing forza account so if you don't want to go ahead and start a new account because you already have progress on your existing one that's okay they can add as much as you would like to your existing account depending on the package you buy they have thousands of trust pilot reviews so if you're interested go ahead and check out mitchcactus.com if that's not for you though no worries as you should be able to get your hands on most of these cars in the game once forza has gone ahead and fixed their auction house system which should be within the next week hopefully if i wouldn't be surprised honestly if it's not as forza generally takes a long time to fix things but anyways all these cars other than those exclusive dlcs are accessible through the online auction house but the first car that we have for today is the maserati 8 ctf this car has been released into the game two times once on its initial debut into the game and another time since it is a price locked vehicle although i can't say that it's going to stay that way for certain as the auction host is getting a complete rework right now however this car has only been released into the game two times both of which times you had to do specific events to unlock it or hit a certain season no milestone which makes this car pretty rare because lots of people don't do that and only being in the game two times has really limited the amount of people that were able to get their hands on it now in my personal opinion it doesn't necessarily need to be rare because it's not that good of a car and i did get my hands on it initially it initially actually started as a 20 million dollar car and then price dropped very quickly as in the first couple days its price dropped from 20 million to about eight but anyways now it is a staple in the game as many collectors try to get their hands on every single car this is one you definitely need in your garage but that's our number three let's hop into the number two for today's video now for number two generally two cars duke it out for this time last time we had the aventador svj but today i feel a little more suiting to choose the ferrari sf90 stradil as this car has only been released into the game a single time however many people did go and get their hands on it as it was pretty simple to and people knew this was going to be a sought after car i do believe this car still sells for 20 million credits, but again, it is hard to say as the entire auction host is being reworked, hopefully as we speak and not just being shut down for good. Anyways, this is probably one of the rarest cars in the game for the fact that it has only released once. It's very sought off there as it is very cool looking. It's a 2020 edition or 2021 edition car and it is excellent for racing. All these things together make it very sought after by a majority of the community. But chances are when if you were playing when this was released into the game, you did get your hands on it 
Anyways, this is a strong number two for today's video. Let me know down below if you are able to or have gotten your hands on one. And if so, how many? Because I'd be willing to bet a lot of you have more than one of this if you do have a single one. I unfortunately was only able to ever get my hands on one. Anyways, this is our number two for today's video, but let's dive into our strong number one position. And for number one, we have a car that seems to return time and again for a number of reasons, but it's the Hunicorn V2, not to be confused with the Hunicorn V1, which is directly below it and looks very similar. There are some unique differences between the V1 and V2. Specifically, the V1 can be one out of wheel spins, which actually this one might be able to as well. Well, I'm not too sure, but it's not price locked and you can get it from the car pass. How Ever. The reason the V2 is so sought after, if we look in the car mastery, is it actually has a times eight skill multiplier. So this is for people that want a high skill chain or they want a high score skill chain from drifting around the map or drifting in a zone. This makes it a lot easier as your times eight instead of the usual times five. The only other car in the game that is higher skill multiplier than this car is the PLP 50 with a times nine. But let's be honest, who's building up a massive skill chain with the PLP 50? Probably no one. So this is the most viable option for getting a high skill score. And not to mention for the longest time, this car was price locked at about one and a half, two million dollars. And it's worth far more than that. It used to go for 20 million, but then people began sniping it and Forza decided to lock its price. So there's no saying what its new price is gonna be locked at or if it's gonna change at all. But all these things cumulatively have made it the rarest car in the game for quite a while and now anyways boys let me know if you agree with my list let me know if there's any that i left off we're gonna have a new tier three or three car list coming out next week with all different cars so let me know if there's one i should include on there that should have been on this list if you made it all the way through to the end let me know with a comment down below as always we'll see you boys in the next video i'm out oh peace <laughs>